What up you guys, I'm back with another video, if you don't know who I am, I am Nando, welcome to another video, today's video is a very special video, the q and A. I I tell you guys to go to my community tab and ask me 20 questions, but I pushed it to 25, before we even get this video started, what I need y'all to do is like, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload a new video, welcome my spiritual guidances yes you guys are my spiritual guidances let's get into the first question y'all got a lot of juicy questions i didn't even notice okay first question is in a spiritual sense what kind of advice would you give someone seeking knowledge on crystals spiritual healing and chakras and etc um like in general what would what would be your outlook on that way of life well, depending what crystal you like to wear, depending what crystal calls your name, I'm, I don't really, I love crystals, don't get me wrong, but certain crystals I don't really know about, but if you want a crystal, I would do clear quartz and I would do rose quote because clear quartz is like a crystal that can help you get energy, but also helps you um, heal your chakras in a way. You know what I mean? So that's my first question. The second question. My first question would be is, what do you and Alex plan to do in the future? As in career choice. We are planning to do, well, she's gonna be a teacher. She wants to be a teacher in the future. So she wants to have her own classroom. She wants to, um, you know, start teaching kids herself. Nobody else in the room, but her and the kids. Me. I want to keep pursuing and I want to keep being successful on YouTube. I want to do YouTube full time. I want to work YouTube full time. I want to have my own branding. I want to grow it. I want to have a lot of followers. I want a lot of people to look up to me as a great motivator and just, you know, keep pushing. So my career is this doing YouTube full time. Favorite childhood memory time you got in trouble update on the weight loss journey video. Okay, so this is like one whole question. Um, my favorite childhood memory is when I first went, basically it was my first Christmas. I'm not even, I don't even know what I said. It was my first Christmas and I went to my aunt's house and they bought me this remote control car. And it was like super fast. It did like burnouts and everything. It was amazing. That's my favorite childhood memory. And the time I got in trouble was I don't know, I will spoil you, I never really got in trouble. The only time I got in trouble is if I like went to the store by myself, snuck to the store, that was the only time I got in trouble. But other than that, I mean, I ain't really get in trouble. Would you and Alex ever move out of New York? Yes, we would. We would definitely move out of New York, but right now is not the perfect timing. I'll, I'll leave it in the future. But I told Alex this, and I'm telling you guys this, as my YouTube career starts going up and I start and, you know, I get more supporters and I start and I work full time for YouTube, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna move. I'm not gonna move far out from the city, but I'm gonna move like at least two hours or an hour away from the city. Cause you know, I don't wanna be far from home because most of my family lives in the city, you know? So I wouldn't wanna be so far from them. This is another question into this question. How many siblings do you have? I have two brothers and one sister. <laughs> and why me and Alex are awesome? Um, I don't know, we just, we like chill vibes. We like to get to know a lot of people. You know, we like to communicate. We like to joke around, you know, we like to have people around us that do the same thing. Are you interested in creating a character to do a skit? And if so, what kind of character do you think you would do? Um, honestly, I'm gonna say I like horror movies. So I'll probably be like, I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably play the bad person, the serial killer, you know, cause that's just me, cause I love horror. But honestly, I will play the person that's probably like beating up the, the serial killer in the movie. So yeah, I'll probably be that character. Are you getting more comfortable being in front of camera? Yes, I am. Honestly, I am. Before I was very shy. I felt it very unconfident. I didn't feel comfortable. I felt like everything on me was ugly. I felt it, I looked it disgusting. That was, that was just me. Um, and the, they wrote another one that says, I know, I know being a YouTuber, you have to be, but 
do you ever feel awkward or like you don't want to record because you mess something up if so how do you yeah i do feel a little awkward sometimes the only time i feel awkward is like when i'm around people and they don't know i do youtube and they just finding out that i do youtube and then when i pick the camera up they like looking at me doing it so yeah that is kind of awkward but if i mess up i'll just redo it again but if i <clears throat> if i look at it and i feel like i messed up but it looks dope well, as me looking at it on my computer when I'm editing it, I just leave it. What is Alex's nickname for you? And what is Nando's nickname for Alex? Uh, my nickname for Alex is Babe. And Alex's nickname is for me is Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> Where did you and Alex meet? Have you always lived in New York? And would you relocate? Are you and Alex fluent in Spanish? How many tattoos and piercings do you have? Okay, whoa. Okay, so they wrote a few amount of questions. Me and Alex, we were friends and we had met on tag years ago. We, we met on tag years ago. We was friends for like five years. And then we finally met in person when I was single and I had nothing out. I was single like a Pringle. We met up and she asked me out. Will we ever relocate from New York? No. We wouldn't relocate from New York. We'll probably move like maybe an hour or two hours away from the city. Cause you know, I, I don't want to move far from my mom, you know? And I'm not saying this cause you know, I don't want nobody to think I'm a mama's boy, but my thing is like my mom counts on me a lot. So I don't want to be too far away from her. Uh, yes, we are fluent Spanish. We speak a little bit of Spanish, more English, but Spanish too. Uh, I have 22 tattoos so far. For the new year, for this is what, the seventh question? For the new year's coming, what goal do you expect you accomplish if not make make your stronger, make your stronger for doing something better than, than you, that you love? Um, what are the goals I'm expected to accomplish? Well, in this new year, I'm trying to accomplish of my, it's hitting 1K on my YouTube channel. And also, I'm trying to make my YouTube channel successful. Not only that, but make my other, uh, other things that I want complete, which is get my own car, my own place. So I want to accomplish a few big goals this year. Also make new friends, create new relationships with people, you know, get to know one another and just have a great bond, you know, and have more friends that do YouTube and, you know, just vibe out. What is the first thing you are going to do when you get monetized? The first thing I'm gonna do, honestly, I don't know. That's a good question. I'm probably gonna do, I don't even know, honestly. I know when I hit 1K, I'm gonna have a 1K party. But monetize, do you mean like, as in like when I get monetized or like hit a thousand? Um, When I get monetized, just be careful on the things that I, I used to do before I got monetized. So a lot of things I do on camera now, and then when I get monetized, I'm just gonna have to chill out and not do it on camera because I'm monetized. Hey Nando, your style is so dope. Do you think you will have any merch soon? Only in existence, uh, but soon. It'll be soon. You guys will know I'll do a big announcement and um, it'll be soon, I promise. What's your advice for a healthy relationship? My advice for a healthy relationship is space, be loyal, truthful, no lying, and no cheating. Do you and Alex plan on getting married? Yes, we plan on getting married in the future when time tells. Nando, would you let Alex give you a hickey on live? No, I would not. I would not do that. That That's... No, that's personal. <laughs> it's a little too personal. You and Alex going to start a family? Yes, in the future, we will start a family. Right now is not a great time because, you know, we don't have our own place. And not only that, right now, I wouldn't want to bring a baby in, especially with all this, like, craziness happening. I wouldn't want to bring a baby to this world with that. So I'm going to wait. What's your favorite music artist? And what is your ethnic background? Um, I am Spanish, I am Puerto Rican and Native American, and my favorite music artist is Chris Brown. Nando, what do you want to do with your film school degree outside of YouTube? Make movies. I definitely do. I want to make at least like three horror movies. I actually want to make a movie with other YouTubers and just like a comedy, but like for adults. 
you know, not for kids, but for adults, like 18 and up. What do you hope to accomplish with your YouTube channel? My goals to accomplish is to be more, let my YouTube channel be successful. Also have a message for those that are going through hard times or, you know, they're going through depression or anxiety, whatever it is that they're going through, that when they watch my videos, they feel so much better and that they can escape reality for a few hours just by watching my videos and smiling. So that's what I want to accomplish. If you could go back and change one thing in your life, what would it be? Uh, if I could go back and change, um, I would tell my younger self to start YouTube at a very young age. At a very young age, yes, I would tell myself that. But that's what I would change. Instead of like playing with toys and started like, you know, just playing with GI Joes and stuff. I would grab a camera and try to just make YouTube videos as a little kid. Would you get a tattoo on your face or eyes? No, I would not. I would not get no tattoo on my face or eyes. Mm -mm. No, I I'm so scared of face tattoos. What is on your bucket list? And have you done anything on it? If so, what? Um, the things I want to do on my bucket list is I want to go skydiving. I want to go to, I want to go visit California. New Orleans. I want to do a lot of things. I have a lot of things on my bucket list. And I also want to go to, I think it's London where they shot the Harry Potter movie. So I definitely want to go out there to go see how, what areas they shot the movie at and you know, just take a tour. Nando, where do you see yourself five years from now? Would you like to move from the state you're in now? Um, I would like to stay in the state I'm in. And from five years from now, I see myself living in a nice mini mansion, making a lot of money, um, having at least three kids, and just have a happy family, you know, and be a very successful YouTuber. Are you in, are you in tune with the universe? Yes, I am in tune with the universe. If you believe in the universe and you believe in, you know, spirituality, trust me, things will start happening and you'll be like, how? Cause you believe in it where do you see yourself in five years um as i said before i uh with a mini mansion and um, three beautiful kids and a happy family what does alex want to do that you won't and what do you what do you want her to do that she has no interest in doing honestly there's nothing that alex want me to do that i'm not interested in reason being because alex is supporting me on everything I do. So she's not really stopping me on certain things that she don't want to do. Um, The things I don't want her to do is just, I don't want her to feel like she's feeling left out or she feels like I'm forcing her to do something. You know, we talk about it first before we do anything and she's okay with it. So I don't feel like there's any, there's nothing that she don't want me to do. And there's nothing I don't want her to do. You know, I want her to be successful the same way how she wants me to be successful. What do you is what what do you aspire to be? I be I aspire to be a great successful YouTuber to everyone, and make everyone happy and just you know be an awesome person. Where do you see yourself in three years? Oh, um, oof. uh, hopefully hitting at least ten k and being and start getting um what you call it again these opportunities having other career doors open for me and i could start making money and being in like movies and stuff sorry you guys the camera battery had died so i had to switch it the last question is do y'all want kids yes we want kids we want three kids in the future i just want to say thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it leave a thumbs up also, feel free to comment. Um, if you guys want me to do a second one with Alex, leave questions. Do we're gonna do another 20 questions for part two. So we're gonna do a relationship Q and A. So if you guys want to leave a question for relationship questions for Q and A, we'll definitely do it. So if you want 25 questions for the relationship Q and A, we'll be dropping that as soon as we get <laughs> 25 questions for us. But other than that, I just wanna say be you, do you, stay you, no matter what. Don't let anyone ruin your dreams or your desires or your manifestations, cause you are the only one that can stop them and can bring them to life. But other than that, I just wanna say thank you and I love you and I'll see you in another video. Peace.